Hey friends, I'm using M1 MacBook Pro for about 5 months already, but I didn't test battery fully, how long it works from battery and so on. And um, yeah, I know that way more than 16 inch MacBook Pro, but how much longer exactly, I don't know. So, and I decided to test it just to be sure, uh, can I move out and go to the one day trip without charger and so on to see how long time it will work. So currently it is connected to the external screen with USB-C cable. I have switch over here. Currently battery is so the battery is almost fully charged, 99%. And uh, I will wait to get to the 100% and then I will disconnect it and we'll see how long that will go. Mostly I will use Xcode, Slack of course for communications, browser because Stack Overflow and so on. All that um, what you can use daily as developer and what else? Yeah, probably that's it. Of course, uh, emails, all that stuff. And I'm curious how long that MacBook Pro will go on one battery. 100%. first charge of the battery it is eight percent left and it is uh, half past four so didn't succeed to work full work day from battery i will capture st statistics right now for later review and will recharge battery once more i spent most of the day in browser because there was some yeah, issues to reviews and wrote some emails and wrote few word documents Look at the curtain. That's true. That's there. That's there. That's there. Yeah. So I spent few hours in uh, Xcode, about four hours in browsing, and yeah, it is unattached from charger in the midnight. Battery history looks like we should restart machine, recharge it, and try to work draws one more charge to see some average numbers. After second charge I used MacBook for programming in Xcode, did some photo editing in Lightroom, edited short drone video clip in Final Cut Pro and did some writing while took myself and family to hairdresser. This time it took 6 hours to work from fully charged battery down to 1%. When I finished working through two of charges of M1 MacBook Pro, I decided to give a try my old 16 inch MacBook Pro. I still have it around and what I use it basically that is 27% Xcode, 30% Safari. So Xcode and Safari that's about 60% and all the other stuff, Tower, OmniFocus, GitHub client, something else, all of them is the rest. And that is about two hours of work. Here you can see both test results side by side. 16 inch MacBook Pro on the left and M1 on the right. I captured statistics using timing up. I had feeling that on first charge part of the Xcode time was registered like Safari because I was looking for some documentation, tutorials and so on, but second charge statistics looks correct for me. As you may see from statistics, on both machines use cases were about the same, excluding photo and video editing on 16 inch MacBook Pro. M1 just was working longer and I had time to do some other stuff as well. Apple claims that MacBook Pro M1 can handle up to 17 hours wireless web and up to 20 hours Apple TV app movie playback. I don't know who would like to watch Apple TV movies for 20 hours on M1 MacBook Pro, so I didn't even bother to test that. And web browsing, that's tricky, you know, sites may be resource demanding and so on that it never works by accordingly statistics but what i did on both machines that was real use workflows about third browsing documentation and so on yeah currently i am learning swift ui therefore i am spending 
less time in Xcode coding and quite a lot of time learning how to use uh, Swift UI. I think that will be about the same for everyone who are still learning programming. Six hours, it's not very impressive comparing with maybe 20 expected, but that's still three times more than 16 inch MacBook Pro, which lasts in the same workflows for two hours only. I would say that those six hours that is about regular work day, including all the coffee breaks, bathroom breaks, lunch breaks and so on. So will I take it without charger to the trip? No, of course not, but I feel pretty comfortable to take it without charger out for a day to work from coffee shop, garden house or whenever. Also this battery not only lasts longer, but machine is faster than that 16 inch MacBook Pro. Basically I can do more in the same time in the Xcode. I already forgot that I have to wait for Xcode for simulators and so on, but 16 inch MacBook Pro reminded me that. So this machine is way, way faster. Uh, working from smaller screen, comparing with 16 inch screen, that's different questions. That's not about battery, but that's more like personal preference. I feel still comfortable working from 13 inch MacBook Pro from the screen, of course, 16 inches bigger and you have more space there. But anyways, at home I have external screen, big enough <laughs> to fit everything and that works fine. And on the road, small footprint of machine and light and easy to carry around machine is uh, a bit more important than bigger external screen. If you have any questions, there are comment section below. Drop your questions there. If you have different statistics using battery on M1, I will be very, very interested to hear that. And if you have M1 MacBook Air, also interesting how much better battery is on MacBook Pro. It should be better for about two hours in Apple statistics, but you know, those are not real life cases. Maybe that is just half of hour on, or 15 minutes difference. Then, yeah, this price tag on bigger battery maybe is not so interesting for all of the real life users. Okay, thank you for watching. Hit those like and subscribe buttons if you are not subscriber yet. I don't know why. <laughs> and uh, hit like button if you like this video and see you on next one. Bye.